Any similarity to actual living characters in the preceding sketch is coincidental. It's a pleasure to, <laughs> to welcome this gal back. She's one of the most charming and talented women in country music today, and she will be appearing with her husband, Johnny Cash, at the West Virginia State Fair in Lewisburg, West Virginia, on August the 16th. And on the 17th, they'll be at the Performing Arts Center in Saratoga Springs, New York. She's also the author of a book, and I'm going to have to ask her what this means, because I'm not sure. Among My Pledements. Maybe some of you know what that means. Would you welcome June Carter Cash. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate that. And I have to say just a little something, Johnny, if it's okay, because ordinarily when this song is sung, my husband sings it, and he had a nice hit on it a few years ago, but uh, there's a new record on it by Blondie, and uh, also another record by my daughter Carlene in England at this time, but the reason I'm going to sing this song for you, and it's not going to be like their kind of performance, this is the way it was written in the beginning, because with some help from a good friend named Merle, I wrote this song, and I was proud of the record Johnny Cash did, and I'd like to try my version, the first way it was ever done, of Ring of Fire. Love is a burning thing And it makes a fiery ring Bound by wild desire I fell into a ring of fire I fell into a burning ring of fire I went down, down, down And the flames went higher and it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire The taste of love is sweet When hearts like ours meet I fell for you like a child Oh, but the fire went wild I fell into a burning ring of fire I went down, down, down And the flames went higher And it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire Yes, it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire in my dress. Am oh. I supposed to come over there now? Oh, is, that, okay. is that why you're sitting there? You can't get off the stool? No, I couldn't get off the stool. Oh, See, I didn't know This that. dress is one of these new kind of... Well, come here and help. See, I'm, this part of it <laughs> is all... In this blame okay, thing. Now, now you're... Wait a minute. Wait, no, I really am, but okay, there you I go. know what I'm gonna do with this dress. I'm oh. gonna take it in the same minutes with the blame thing. I think that's the first time that's ever happened. You know, you, somebody has got that, uh, snarled in their clothing over there. <laughs> I thought you were going to do another number, well, and then I obviously no, I see you were no, in some they, kind of distress. Well, no, uh, it's the first time I ever saw Johnny Carson around under a girl's dress, seeing <laughs> where she was snarled in the clothing. Yeah. No, I didn't know you wanted me to do it there. Now, is this you a, know? What, what is this? What are you doing? I'm just looking at this. <laughs> No, I wasn't no, doing it's, fresh it's, or anything. No, uh, it's handmade. It's yeah, that's what crocheted. I'm saying. Uh, crocheted, that's right. Yes, it is. Uh -huh, it's crocheted. It's very pretty. Uh-huh. Thank you very much. Did, did you do that yourself? No. Oh. No, I didn't. Do you crochet at all? Yes, I do, but not very good. Not good enough to talk about it on this show. There's oh, better oh. things we can talk about. Yeah. What I think. <laughs> what would you like to talk about? No, it really doesn't matter. I thought you might ask me where Johnny was. Where is Johnny? He's not here, is he? <laughs> No. no, honest to goodness. Why do I get the feeling I'm on hee-haw all of a sudden? No, no, I, ne I never have done hee-haw. You've never done hee-haw? Why not? No, 
Nobody ever asked me. I thought, oh, is that is that kind of a, uh, a no, top no, show? No, no, I'm sorry, they did ask me, but I was busy. I didn't get to do it, you see? Oh. I usually just paddle along after John and go where he is. And oh. see, he was going to be in California this week to do a filming of a show, uh -huh. you know? He and my son, John Carter, together were going to do a filming of Alice. Right. Only they had that strike. They and a strike. when I came out here, somebody in your organization asked me to come and be on your show. Oh, and so I said, fine, and that's why I'm here. And, but John didn't, he didn't get to come because they didn't film Alice, so he's up in Canada fishing, and I'm, you're stuck with me. Well, that's all right. <laughs> Happy to be stuck with you. Well, that's nice. Yeah, huh? do you worry about him when you're not with him? No, no, not really. Yeah. I used to. Really? Uh -huh, but he straightened up real good. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, yeah, he mentioned himself. We talked about it a little bit on the show. Yeah, we Some did, years huh? ago, he really was kind of a wild, uh, crazy person, wasn't he? He really was, but I don't like to talk about that anymore because oh. that Johnny Cash is gone a long, long Completely time gone. ago. He's darted off to another direction. Yeah, so you have a nice, solid... Good yes, marriage, uh -huh. that's nice. And we have this little boy. We, we have... Uh, All together between your... His other marriage and your marriage, I guess. Uh -huh. There are six children involved? Well, no, there's more than that. Oh, I didn't know. See, I, see, I had two. I didn't get the I official had count today. Wait a minute, just a second. Yeah. No, there, I had Carlene and Rosie. I had two and he had four. And that then makes six. Six, but we had John Carter, and that makes seven. That makes seven, so, certainly does. So I have one daughter, 25, two, 24, two, 21, one, 18, and one son, 10. That's a big brood. Yes, and I'm worn out. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of work, isn't it? Uh, honest to get, no, not really. It's a wonderful thing. I love my yeah. children, I love my family, and I love That's my good. husband. And I, I love the opportunity of just being here with you because I, I, I well, every night I lie down in my bed and, and uh, you and there I spend I some time together. <laughs> no, I mean, no, you are. Oh, I know what you're saying. No, yes, you, of course. See, they took it wrong. It's kind of by, uh, see? kind of by No, osmosis. I watch you on the television, see? I'm glad, yeah. So I feel like I know you a whole lot better than you know me. That's At least until that. before you got under my dress. Well, no, no, I just wasn't <laughs> trying to help you out. <laughs> I'm going to do a commercial. We'll come back and we'll talk some more. Okay. See what's happening, okay? <laughs> We're back with Bruce Byrne, June Carter Cash. Well, before we talk about this instrument, what is cledimus? Well, it's not in the dictionary. Yeah. Not yet. I'm going to have it put in there as soon as they'll let me. Is that a country? Is that it's a, a country, localized expression? It's a, actually, a cledimus in the country where I was raised. I'm from the Appalachian Mountains yeah. in Virginia. And especially in East Tennessee, a lot of the old folks will use that word, cledimus. Uh, uh, a cledimus is like, something... Like a memory? Or a... Uh, well, no, it's, it, it could be a memory, but it could be something that deserves to be in your life. It deserves... Uh, you, be, could, you could love it, you could hate it. It could be um, like a woman's purse just full of things. It could be your furniture around you, like all of these are your cledimus. My cledimus. See, uh-huh, that, that Can people cup, be cledimus? Uh, yes, people can also be, you're a pretty good cledimus yourself. I see. Really, uh -huh. So anything that has so an importance anything, or something to your that's mind. That's right, or it could be like an old, uh, you know, when you had a broken leg or something and you had a cast and everybody yeah. signed it, you wouldn't throw that away. That's a cledimus. That's right? a cledimus. So there's lots of good old country words and cledimus here, among my cledimus is actually my life. Yeah. How I feel about the people I love and some that I don't particularly care for, but just the way my life is and how I believe in things and yeah. my, my family and how everything That's is. That's nice. Uh, I hope it's successful. Well, thank you. It, it's done pretty good, but I hadn't got a chance to talk about it on your show yet, so that's why I'm here. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, what is this? This is, is an auto harp, and actually my mother, Mother Mabel Carter, uh, we lost her almost two years ago now, and she was kind of the master of this instrument. Mother could took this instrument, which was made to begin with, to just play chords on and to accompany yourself. And mm -hmm. the country people used to order this, you know, from Montgomery Wards or Sears Roebuck. I can yeah, say that, you, Sure, you would just set these little pegs to yes, the chords. Yes, and you would set that. But my mother, she took the instrument and played tunes on it. Oh, I see. And she made it really something else. And so when I was a little child, about 10 years old, and we used to perform them from those old Texas border stations, you know, years and years ago. Oh, yeah. Well, she taught me to play this, and since Mom was gone, I... Got it out of the chicken house and... Can you do a little something for us? Yes, if you want me to. Sure. Okay. All right, Bruce. Sometimes I go this away, so... No, don't go too far away. It's nice to have you sitting there. Okay. Okay, I'll try something for you. This is the San Antonio Rose.
Yes, sir, that was June Carter Cash playing San Antonio Rose coming to you from Clint, Texas, a 100,000 watt voice. Remember those That's things right. from across uh -huh. the border? Uh -huh. Well, our transmitter's Bars, located in Ensenada, Mexico. Listen, you're right. When I was a child, that's where I was on those old border stations. You bet you they get that transmitter, they get about a 50,000 watts transmitter, and they broadcast right up through the country all the way to Canada. What happened oh, right. What happened when we went there, you know, when we were children, they had two 500,000 watt transmitters across in Delray, Texas. They have to put them there because it's against it's the law. It's against the law, the law this country to have, But they would get those big ones, and they could cover the entire Oh, that's what country. they mean by a border station. Right? That's right. Yeah. And we, we got ma mail across. from all over the world. Oh, yeah. It came it was from incredible. everywhere. Mm -hmm. I could take Very a break. Good. That was nice. It was oh, fun. Thank you. We'll be right back. Joe Williams is here.